Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. This is Ani here from the learning class. So today's video is on editing an image in Shopify. So Shopify has a amazing inbuilt image editor, which is great. Uh, it does the job for basic editing. So you don't really need to go to Adobe or Canva or you know, those really complicated uh, software pay lots of money to get your image edited or even hire somebody uh, the shopify inbuilt image editor will get the job done for most of your tasks <clears throat> so uh, yeah by the end of today's tutorial you should be able to know how to edit those images it's not going to be a very long video because it's pretty easy so yeah let's quickly get into it uh, but before we start uh please like subscribe uh comment share do all those good things for our channel we are a brand new channel we just started like a week ago so yeah we'll really appreciate you know your support uh for us uh, anyways uh, let's get into it so if you look at the screen this is the shopify uh backhand so i've got uh i've got i'm gonna go on the front side of this so this is the website and you can see here this particular image uh you can see this red thing now i want to remove this uh this little red thing and then i've got this belt over here which also has this little thing over here so yeah we'll we'll quickly try to do two images today uh and you know, i'll show you how to edit them so let's go back to our back end let's go to products go to collection so i think i know where it's in my camping wear so i go here so that's the first product as you can see so i'm going to click the product so i go down now you can see i've got uh, these images have come from aliexpress and they all have this little red thing i don't want this red thing to be shown so uh you go on the image and you click it once you click it as you can see this is the shopify inbuilt image editor so you've got three options here you've got a crop and rotate you've got a draw and then you've got a resize so these three tools are great for basic image editing these three tools are actually more than enough uh, so for this one to remove this little mark i'm just going to click on draw so once i click on draw i get this little box here so here you can see it's got this color picker and then it's got these different colors and you got it's got a brush size right so right now the brush size is pretty small uh you can make it big or whatever but let's just leave it up to here now the thing to note over here is you can see the color picker it says white white is basically the color of the brush now in this image we are lucky that the background is also white so all we need to do is make sure that our brush size is not too big just a little bit small and then all you do is come here and you just like start painting and that's it as you can see this thing is gone you can click done and you're good to go so i'm just gonna click done okay and now it's asking me an option to save before i save i just want to show you a couple of more things so i'm just gonna do reset yeah so now we go back to the original again now again i click on draw now if i increase the brush size you can see what's going to happen the brush becomes really big so it's it's a it's a possibility that i can actually you know go into the image itself and spoil the image so make sure your brush size is as per the the size that you want to and as per the watermark that you want to remove okay so i'm just going to clip it here 
and uh, beautiful it's done okay let's look at some of the other options uh, that they have the other option is the crop so this i think you guys should know it's pretty straightforward you can crop the image if you like you can make it uh, uh you know if you want to get rid of some stuff in the image that you don't like you can crop it so crop and rotate you got original free form you if you want to have a square image so they have some presets uh 8 by 10 5 by 7 4 by 3 so feel free to play around so as you can see it gives a small box and you can crop okay they have some presets like 8 by 10 so as you can see if you click 8 by 10 it automatically gives you 8 by 10 image so if you have a smaller image that you want to focus on then you can go by 8 by 10 okay then you've got a flip image so you can make it vertical you can make it horizontal you can also rotate the image on the right or the left so as you can see this is great little tool which you can use yeah there you go i'm just playing around a little bit and uh yeah that's that's pretty much uh the flip and rotate and then the last option is resizing the image so if you want to resize your image and you know you want it to have a particular uh width and a height so this is where you can fix it you know so if i just remove this it says width needs to be between 1 px which is 1 pixel and 4472 so you can play around uh, to have a particular size of the image that you want and uh, so you can do your width and you can do your height here as well pretty easy peasy i guess uh, so let's do reset done let's quickly go and remove this sign so for this one and in my experience uh, 99 percent of the images that you're gonna have from aliexpress or from deezers or any of the drop shipping app most of the time this is what you will have to get rid of usually they come with a you know a ridiculous watermark uh, some sort of a symbol some sort of a chinese text or something so yeah so draw right now the color is white my background is white so i'm happy with that brush size will make it a little bit big and off you go just print it off make sure you don't come into the actual image click done save So now it's saved as you can see the little symbol or the little watermark is gone and there you go let's quickly have a look at the front side i'm just gonna refresh voila as you can see now you have a nice little image no watermark okay let's try to do a second image and this time we're going to make it a little bit complicated okay so i'm just going to click on this one this is the belt okay so this image i'm going to click as you can see it's got the white thing so i'm going to again do the same bit as you guys know this the background is white so this is white we are good to go just the brush size a little bit of painting off you go done safe okay but what happens if you have an image like this okay oh so by the way you are able to drag and drop your images so whichever image you put here becomes your primary image okay uh but let's say i put i want this as my primary image 
and I've got this little text over here which I want to get rid of so I'm just gonna click on the image we go into the photo editor right but now the problem is that the background is not white right so if i just try to do it you see this is not going to look nice you know if i just do white it's not going to look nice so there is there is a trick to it uh, the trick is we have you know we should be able to figure out the background color because if we can figure out the background color then once we paint on this text hopefully it will blend in together and it's not going to look like the photo has been edited for this uh, we need to figure out the background color so for this there's a small little tool that you can use uh, go to your go to google chrome and just type in colorzilla chrome extension so when the, when you type in you will see this open this and then just this is a this is a chrome extension just add it as you can see they have got great feedback 2714 so this is pretty good almost 3 million users so yeah i've been using it for a while so i completely love it so add it 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 should look something like this one as you can see here okay so let's see how this works so i'm going to go back to my image and i need to figure out the background color right so i'm just going to click on this and you can see now when i take my browser on this color you can see the color in this box changes right there you go so it what this uh, extension basically mm -hmm. is doing is that th th this extension this extension is basically identifying the color and the background okay so you just hover the browser and then once you are happy just click it and now the color has been copied to your clipboard just come over here and paste it so you can see the color has changed to the background color now let's just try to whoa there you go there you go much better right as you can see the color is blended very very difficult for someone to make out that this image has been edited of course you can play around more and get the ideal color but i'm i think i'm pretty happy with this it's not noticeable just gonna do done and save Okay, so let's see how this image looks like. Sorry about that little pop-up coming, you know, I should have shut my chat box. So I'm uh, just going to quickly come here and I'm going to refresh this page. And let's see how does it look. Wow. You can see this image here. The this is the part that we edited right we you know we put a little bit of color and i you can see it's like literally you can't even see it so uh, so yeah that is that is pretty much uh, the way that you edit you know images you know you don't really need any fancy uh, software to do it shopify's inbuilt image editor will do the job so that's it guys for today's tutorial uh, i hope you guys enjoyed the class and uh, uh, really appreciate if you can like subscribe uh, share the channel uh, yeah it'll mean a lot to us uh, so see you guys and uh, see you guys soon in the next channel thank you very much for listening and your time bye now